Hello dear students, in the last module we did with pollution and pollution control process in various industries like paper mills, tanneries are there, textile industries are there, thermal power plants etc etc. So now we will see how the pollution and pollution control process takes place in a textile industry. What is mean by pollution? What do you mean by pollution? Pollution is nothing but contamination of air, water or soil by substances that are harmful to living organisms. You know, India is one of the most polluted countries in the world. Of the most polluted cities in the world, 21 out of 30 were in India in 2019. Pollution can occur naturally, for example, through volcanic eruptions or as a result of human activities such as spilling the oil or disposal of industrial waste. And now we will see what are the processes taking place in a textile industry or how these processes pollute the environment, pollute our environment. First process is fiber production, yarn manufacturing process or spinning process, fabric manufacturing process or weaving process, wet processing or dyeing, printing, finishing process etc. Garments making process, all these are the processes taking place in the textile industry and now we will see how they pollute our environment. First one is fiber production and pollution. Environmental effects of textile fibers. Wool pollution. Both agricultural and craft workers suffer from exposure to organophosphate sheep dip problem. What are organophosphates? You know organophosphates. Organophosphates generally known as OP produced by the process of esterification between phosphoric acid and alcohol. And sheep dip problem is the kind of flu or like illness which follows exposure to organophosphate when we exposed to organophosphate and this sheep problem occurs and nylon and polyester made from petrochemicals these synthetic are also non biodegradable and they are inherently unsustainable on two counts nylon manufacture creates nitrous oxide a greenhouse gas 3 10 times more potent than carbon dioxide what are nitrous, nitrous oxide NO? What are the harmful effects of NO, you know? NO is commonly known as laughing gas. Laughing gas, NO. And which slows down our brain and the body's response. It's a harmful gas, nitrous oxide. A greenhouse gas which is 10, 3, 10 times more potent than carbon dioxide. And environmental effects of textile fibers, cotton. Cotton is the most pesticide intensive crop in the world. These pesticides injure and kill many people every year. You know, cotton is a soft fiber or cool fiber. Cotton production pumps thousands of tons of pesticides into the environment each year. And it also takes up a large proportion of agricultural land much of which is needed by local people to grow their own food. Next is yarn production and pollution. Yarn production. And these are the processes involved in or techno techniques involved in yarn production. Mechanisms involved in yarn production. Simple gear, continuous gear, train, chain drive, bevel drive, worm and worm wheel, variable drive, pole drive. All these are the mechanisms normally involved in a spinning mill. Now we will see what are the process, what are the causes of air pollution. Ginning factories discharge large amounts of cotton dust. What are, what are ginning factories means? This ginning is the process of removing the seeds and the debris from the cotton. And the poor relative humidity of course, as the relativity is poor, there are many chances of human dust, uh, dust particles to contaminate the air and blow down or blow off is the cleaning of equipment and surface with the compressed air. We know vacuum pumps and vacuum cleaners. We vacuum cleaners and vacuum pumps by based on this principle uh, blow down and blow off procedure and cleaning of cloth clothing or floors with the compressed air, poor working conditioning procedures and cleaning methods, poor working conditioning in some machineries may cause noises and they pollute the our environment and improper handling of waste during transportation 
if we carry waste from one place to another place for disposal that should be properly covered or some other mechanism should be waste handling mechanism must be applied otherwise it will harm our environment and insufficient ventilation systems and if proper ventilation systems are not there there are chances of uh, air pollution so these all are the causes of air pollution and in the next class we will see how pollution control takes place in textile industries so if you have any doubt regarding the about topic please feel free to contact me at any time thank you